Hi there, so quick video today about vegetarianism as opposed to veganism and what is the difference? Well, the difference between a vegetarian and a vegan, and there's always been a little bit, particularly from the vegetarian's point of view, because they seem to think that vegans are really, really extreme in their views and you don't have to be that way, you know, it's fine just not to consume meat and you know you're doing enough for the environment you're doing enough for your body that on the other hand could not be further from the truth in fact vegetarians are probably leading in terms of um, heart disease and things like that because they tend to eat a lot more dairy products than actual meat eaters so if you're becoming a vegetarian for health reasons, you really need to consider that dairy is not good for the human body. It wasn't designed for the human body. And more and more studies, especially particularly coming out of Harvard and places like that, um, are, are, you know, proving that dairy is not good for the body. It certainly does not do a body good. It's it's involved in, you know, osteoporosis, um, heart disease, obesity, also um, anxiety issues, depression, things like that, because you're still consuming not only animal hormones, but vast amount of animal hormones that come from a grieving um, a cow. So when you're eating dairy, you're actually absorbing all of that into your body. And when, uh, let me just reverse that for a little second, um, in order to produce dairy, farmers must forcibly impregnate a cow with bull sperm in a rape rack. Then they have that baby. That baby is then taken away. If it's female, it is bottle fed and fed back into the dairy industry. But if it's male, it actually goes and gets slaughtered between three and seven days of age. Um, Previous to it being slaughtered, it's kept in a crate so it's unable to move, so it makes the meat nice and tender, and that's what veal is. So if you're a vegetarian you still and you're only vegetarian for the animals, then you're actually still feeding the meat industry and one of the most horrible industries, the veal industry. So you might want to reconsider that. A lot of vegetarians are unaware of that, and certainly 90% of meat eaters have no idea that that happens either. So when you talk about veganism... It, it's the ideal that no animal products are going past your mouth. So you're not eating any hormones that aren't your own, no animal fats, no animal protein, which high protein diets are the ones that lead to kidney problems, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I don't particularly understand vegetarianism I think that they are just purely for the animals I suppose whereas veganism particularly if you understand the nutritional concepts of it uh, tend to be a lot more in depth and the environmental so when you hear about people I'll oh, say to you I was a vegetarian but um, I got really sick or I got really fat well you got really fat because you were still eating a high fat diet you were eating high fatty cheeses high fatty dairy high fatty milks you know um, yeah, you were just getting all your veggies and then smothering it with cheese or butter, worse. Um, yeah, so don't get me wrong, there are a lot of overweight vegans and that's purely because Oreos are vegan, um, junk foods are vegan, cakes are vegan, high processed sugar, packaged, you know, crap in the supermarket, that's all vegan too. Uh, so it depends why you're vegan. I'm a nutritional vegan, so I became um, I became plant-based basically two months before I actually made the connection between what I was eating, being an animal, you know, and having feelings and thoughts, etc. I, um, yeah, spent the first two months of my, I suppose you could have called me vegan. I actually didn't know what a vegan was when I first went plant-based. I just knew that I wasn't going to put meat or dairy in my body after studying and researching cancer and particularly the effects on our genetic makeup. So, um, you know, and, and, and really studying genes and scientific nutrition. That's, that's how I got started. And then once I heard about, you know, the cows being raped and, and, you know, all the 
horrible things that come along when we kill animals for food that we simply don't need to do because I eat an amazing array of foods now, which I am so grateful for every single day. And no one has to die for me to live. And I'm healthy and I'm fit. In fact, I'm fitter than ever. I build muscle better than I had when I was eating meat. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's exactly why I'm, I'm not a vegetarian and I don't get vegetarianism because you're still putting so much of a demand on our environment by breeding animals, you know, particularly cows with their methane gases that they produce and, you know, all the shit's got to go somewhere then, you know, the time and effort that it takes to produce one litre of milk or the water that you have to use to feed all those cows, you know, so they don't starve to death, um, the grain that we would be giving to our fellow human beings is being fed to cows just so that they can produce milk and drink thousands and thousands of litres of water every single day. It just doesn't make sense when you do the maths. So that's why I'm not a vegetarian and I don't consider veganism to be extreme at all because it's really the least that we can do is to be all vegan. So anyhow, that's all my video is about today. The difference between being vegetarian and being vegan and why, why do vegans feel that they have to talk about it? which was another question that I got, you know, why, why do vegans have to talk about it all the time? It's because we want people to know that this is going on because we too came from a place of ignorance. We too don't know what happened, you know, to animals when we were just simply going to the supermarket and getting a nice little piece of steak that was wrapped lovely in some glad wrap and you don't even connect that it's actually an animal. You're just thinking of your beautiful steak that you're going to have with mushroom sauce later on tonight. It's, it's, it's about creating um, a disconnect. That's what supermarkets do. That's why they disguise it, like by calling it steak instead of cow, you know, or bacon instead of pig. I don't think pig has the same appeal as what bacon does, but when you separate it and make it into a bacon, well, what is bacon, you know? Vegans have bacon. There is vegan bacon. And it tastes amazing and no one died for it and it's certainly not going to clog your arteries you know um, but it tastes fantastic also there's coconut chips that are made into bacon it's effectively the flavoring so a lot healthier but people just need to change their mindset and really think about what is actually on your plate you know it it once you make that connection, you cannot go back. So you hear people, oh, I was vegetarian. That's fine. Very rarely you hear of a vegan that goes back. And I mean a true vegan, like one that gets the whole ethical side, the whole nutritional side. There is no way on earth that I could possibly put um, a dead body in my mouth again because that it just would, I would vomit <laughs> basically, you know, and the anxiety and suffering that went into that piece of meat. When you look at animals being about to be slaughtered, they try and fight. They go up that little tunnel. They're trying to turn around, but of course they can't because they design the tunnels that they're so small that there's no way that a cow or a pig or a lamb, a little baby lamb, could turn around. They just have to go up, you know, and, and the same with chickens too. They always try to get off the trucks. When you drive past a chicken truck, they're always trying to climb out. They break their necks in the process. You know, they know what's going on. They're not stupid. And I think for us to assume that animals are stupid, we really need to take a good look at ourselves in the mirror and think, why do we think that we're better than them? Because effectively we're no better than them. In fact, I, a lot of people could argue that they're actually better than us because they would never treat us the way that we treat them.